Psalms chapter 2. We will be reading from the KJV, followed by the Passion Translation. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? How dare the nations plan a rebellion? Their foolish plots are futile. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Passion Translation says in verse 2, Look at how the power brokers of the world rise up to hold their summit as the rulers scheme and confer together against Yahweh and his anointed king, saying, Let's come together and break away from the Creator. Once... And for all, let's cast off these controlling chains of God and his Christ. Verse 4, King James Version. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. God enthroned merely laughs at them. The sovereign one mocks their madness. Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Then with fierceness of his fiery anger, he settles the issue and terrifies them to death with these words. Verse 6, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I myself have poured out my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Verse 7, I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. I will reveal the eternal purpose of God, for he has decreed over me, You are my favored son, and as your father I have crowned you as my king eternal. Today I became your father. Verse 8, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Ask me to give you the nations, and I will do it, and they shall become your legacy. Your domain will stretch to the ends of the earth. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. And he will shepherd them with unlimited authority, crushing their rebellion as an iron rod smashes jars of clay. Verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Listen to me, all ye rebel kings and all you upstart judges of the earth. Learn your lesson while there's still time. Verse 11. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serve and worship the awe-inspiring God. Recognize his greatness and bow before him, trembling with reverence in his presence. Verse 12. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Fall face down before him and kiss the sun before his anger is roused against you. Remember that his wrath can be quickly kindled. But many blessings are waiting for those who turn aside to hide themselves in him. <laughs>